Okay, now we've reached the bottom, finally. Let's proceed and go to that keg we saw. And now that we got the wrench with the fitting that goes over that hex nut, we will finally either get some brew and think about where to go next. Or I'm willing to bet that, according to video game logic, I'm needing to use this to turn off the spikes in the wall. Let's see if I'm right. Hey, it fits perfectly. Look at that. Yeah! Last time I heard a noise like that, the teacher drug her fingernails across the chalkboard. Hold on to your ears, folks. Here she goes again. Okay, thank you, Laura. Now we can proceed. You must feel very proud. Step away from the barrel and then turn. And as you can see, the wall is now turned off, enabling us to proceed further down the stairs. There's a door at the end of the hall, and it looks like it's got some number on it. From here, I can see that it says 78. We are going to room 78. Okay, let's take a closer look at it. There's room 78, and there's a keyhole of some sort. Shrug your shoulders, Laura. You don't know what to do here yet. But we do have a number to go on, and that's number 78. So they're betting to, willing to bet that there's a significance in behind the number 78. I'm pretty sure it'll come up again. It usually does. It's video game logic. If anybody wanted to hide stuff, oh yeah, let's give clues. Why don't you just gift wrap everything and say, here, Laura, have at it. That would never happen in real life. Can you imagine if you were a criminal and you wanted the cops to find you and you put together these puzzles that were so easy to figure out? Yeah, I can understand if you're a Joker from Batman, but... Yeah. That's exactly what he would want everybody to do, too. Why so... Why did I do that? Get off of that. Alright, let's proceed further. Let's see what's behind this other door here. Oh wait, I'm forgetting something. I know I am. I know I'm forgetting something. There was something else upstairs I needed to look at. Back up the stairs, Laura! Today would be nice. Tomorrow might be a possibility. Next week, that's when I'll expect you. Where are you going? No, this way, Laura. This way. Up the stairs. Dude, you only have two hours. Make the most of it. That's the problem. She is making the most of it. I know. It sucks going up and down the stairs. But look at it this way. At least you're getting that workout. In through that door ahead of us. I forgot to look at something. Remember when in the last video I said that the only thing you needed to get in here was that wrench and that piece of paper? I forgot one minor detail. Okay, now point your direction over this way and you'll find a fireplace. Approach the fireplace. And look inside. There's a key! I forgot that was in there. Could they have made it any more obvious that there's a key in there? Well, seeing that door 78 and saw the keyhole there reminded me I was supposed to get a key, wasn't I? But guess what? That's not the key we need for room 78. We need that key so we can get the key that goes to room 78. Ew. That's the woman with the boobs? Man, I thought she was going to look like Pamela Anderson or something. Ugh, that's no Pamela Anderson, I'll tell you that. Looks more like Kathy Bates. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy, no offense. No, get off of that, please. Thank you, Laura. Okay, there's one th other thing I forgot. Here in these dresser drawers, open up drawer number one.
That's weird. There's supposed to have been a bug or something in there. Alright. Walk past the painting of Kathy Bates's big boobs and... Right into the door we came. That is weird, though. That bug is supposed to have been in there. Maybe it's because I p started playing this for the first time in a long time, and it doesn't show up anymore after you've played at least w started a game, and then when you start another game, I don't think it's there anymore. I should have almost cleared the memory. Oh, well. Just pretend we looked at the bug and we relived the beginning of Laura's past. So now that we got a key, eventually we'll make our way back across the room here to the door on the other side. Eventually. Okay, that's to get to the table. We've already done that bit. Keep walking. She's not stopping, so that means that there's nothing we can do but to approach the door. And she's going to try to open it here, isn't she? Yes. Well, you dunce, it won't open because I have the key. I love that expression, like, ugh, closed. That's okay, I've got the key. So, break open that key from your inventory, stick it into the keyhole. You know how to open doors, Laura. We don't need to give you a idiot to dummies dictionary on how to open doors. Oh, good God, what the hell? Well, alrighty, then we see a an imprisoned man. And it's growling at me. It's growling at me. Alright, we see one arm attached to the wall. The other arm embedded into the wall. Right on. And there's a door that leads to the other side. Maybe we can get a good gander at the hand as it comes through the brick wall, which will be really creepy, and I don't know why Laura wants to go and look at it. But it's Laura, what do you expect? Oh wait, there's a box. Okay, now note this font. It looks very familiar to me, doesn't it? As a matter of fact, it does. It looks just like the numbers on that door. 78. But the problem is with this particular lock, that second number there, the zero, it says 70 right now. We have to make this say 72 in order to, f in order to flip the dial to 78. Don't ask me why. Nope, that's not 72. See, it does that number. Oh wait, it let me in anyway, good. First shot, I like that. And of course, it's hiding a ring. It was a safe. So take the ring, don't be creeped out, just take it. It's not like it's going to be needing that ring anytime anyway. Close the door so we don't have to look at the hand. And walk away. Thank you, Laura. Now, I'm guessing here that that key, or that ring, might be a key in that small circular hole in that door from which that font was displayed. So let's put two and two together, take the ring back to that door by going all the way across the dining room again. There's a lot of back and, backing and forthing in this game. Take another giant step inside. Turn to the left, or turn to the right. Turn to the left and you'll be looking at the mirror. 